Hello, everybody, and welcome back to War on the Sea. My name is Spartan Elite 43, and tonight we are back in the fight for Guadalcanal. We are trying to fight and push back the Japanese via just basically large forces. Now, I've tried to record this once before, and I actually recorded an hour and a half long video. And it turns out that uh, I screwed the pooch. When I went to record it, I forgot to rescale the output to 1440 instead of full 4K. And uh, my graphics card cannot keep up with playing a game in 4K and recording it 4K, apparently. Uh, it overloads the encoders, and so what you end up with is sound that is perfect and a video that is like a slideshow, but only you get one slide every like 10 minutes. And I'm not even exaggerating. Luckily, I figured it out after I recorded it and noticed that my previous save was an autosave before this large surface encounter. So while I did lose that video, and it was a very, very good video, at the end of the day, we haven't really lost that much because we get to do it all over again. And this time, I made sure everything is perfect and I am golden. If if something happens to this recording, I quit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be fine, hopefully. Thank, oh, oh, please, please help me. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah. Basically, the only thing that you've missed up to this point is a couple engagements with some submarines, and we actually lost another sub. But we have a sub coming out to replace it. Sneaky Boy 5 is coming up here. I believe this is the Growler? Grunion. We're up to the Grunion. A great name for a submarine. But uh, we're getting ready to engage a surface fleet with our surface fleet. Uh, two destroyers, two heavy cruisers, three oilers, and three merchant ships. And... We have Alabama, Atlanta, Juneau, and Radford. So this should be a pretty solid fight. Now, I've already done this fight once, and it went really well for us. So if something horrible happens this fight, I'm going to cry. <laughs> like, let's, let's get into this. Like, I'm hoping everything's going to be great. But uh, first things first, we're going to have to do some management. Because Atlanta and Juno are no good at, at, at fighting these, uh, uh, the, the destroyers, or the, the cruisers, sorry. So we don't want Atlanta and Juno to be in a fight. So we're going to have Juno and Atlanta, or we're going to have Alabama break off. So let's go to orders, break formation, Alabama. Now, this may be cheaty to you guys. And if it is, let me know what you guys think, because honestly, it's it's not my fault. Like, I've played this battle before. I know where they are in relation to my ships at the moment, so that's what I'm going to be planning for. So, in other words, this should go even better now than it went in the first one. And so that's what we're going to be playing for. So, Atlanta and Juno uh, and Radford, I need you to break off as well. Okay, so... Alabama, I need you to head in this direction, okay? Atlanta and Juno, I need you guys to head straight ahead, full throttle. And Juno, or no, 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 Radford, sorry. Radford, I need you to start making making way south because if this plays out the same way that it did in the last one they're going to split their convoy up and what they're doing is the the warships are going to to engage me the heavy cruisers are going to engage me the destroyers are going to try to run away off to uh, the north it'll be the northwest of the screen so they're going to try to go this way and the uh, transports who are the the actual targets here are going to try to run away south. Now, they are very slow, so they're not going to be able to run away. But we need to be able to uh, find them and take them out because they are the more valuable targets. 
Anytime you can sink troops, transports, supplies, all of that sort of thing, oil especially, there's three oilers in this. Anytime you get a chance to do that, you set the enemy back hugely. It's a huge advantage. You've got to disrupt those convoy, those supplies. Now, uh, Alabama is going to be instrumental in this fight. We need Alabama on point. And we had fantastic accuracy in the last match, or the last time we fought them. So that's what we're going to go with. Now, I know this was a bit of a, a long to-do, but trust me, if everything plays out the way it should, it's still going to be one heck of a fight. All right, you still got two heavy cruisers out there against us, and we're going at, at them with one battleship. And, of course, our destroyer is going to break off and go for the, uh, the transports, and our Juno and Atlanta are going to be going full steam ahead, straight ahead, trying to catch up to their uh, destroyers. Now, we do have them off to our southeast, or southwest, you can see. Very first target is a heavy cruiser. So we are going to target this heavy cruiser with Alabama. We are going to go ahead and issue AP full spotting fire at the moment. Let's go ahead and fire the guns. We are going to classify this ship. We have three guns at the fore, two guns at the rear, a rear facing. So let's go with Japanese heavy cruiser. It is not the furry taco. This one, I believe, is Takao or Mogami? Nope, it's not Takao. Mogami, right there you have it. So this is Mogami. And it is our biggest target right now. We want to take it first, if we can. Look at this entire fleet. Just, just look at it. This is a lot of folks that are trying to, to get into our our uh, port that we're trying to stop them to get to. Like we're trying to deny Guadalcanal for as long as possible. That's the goal. You can see we're quite a ways off already. But we're all the way back here. It's going to take some time. Now let's go to orders and speed up. Alabama. Uh, let's also go ahead and break. Now that we know their location, we're going to go straight at them. Okay. We're only going to be able to get the front guns on on the, the target, but we can't help it. And you can see Radford is already making way down south trying to get to... Uh, them, but we're going to have to be careful with Radford due to its squishy nature and those heavy cruisers still being alive. So maybe we uh, break with Bradford and just keep our distance for now. I don't want to go in too soon. We've got to get some good hits first. Alabama will do its thing, but we've got to get, get good hits first. Now they're at 16,000 yards. They're well within range. Uh, and the solution's not great at the moment, but it's only going to get better. The conditions aren't that bad. If we look at the conditions, I mean, it's 44% visibility, a sea state of 5, so not too shabby. Wind speed of 20.3 knots, so it's a bit windy. Uh, it's coming at us at a 61 degree angle. And there is a layer here. Hopefully they don't have any submarines. I have no idea if they have subs. But I do know that they have this convoy, and we're going after them. We ain't playing, ain't playing around with them. Now, we lost our uh, visual, uh, visual on them, which is not good. But we're going to keep trying to ping them. Go back over to Radford. Break on Radford and swing this direction. You can see they are shooting at Radford, which is not what I want. Uh, I have no idea how we've lost, like, we've lost them. Like, we've got radar going. We should, we should be on top of these guys. Out. 
back over to Alabama. You can see they are shooting Alabama, or at least trying to. Let's go ahead and target this ship. This is Furry Taco. We meet again. Classify. Furry Taco. Two in the front, split stack, one angled stack. Crane is in front. This crane is to the rear, so it's not Furry Taco. It is actually Aoba. So, Aoba. I actually misidentified this ship the last time. You gotta watch that crane, because the Japanese heavy cruisers, a lot of them are very similar, and all of the, of the only difference from just like quick looking at them is the crane goes one way or the other. Like, they are very, very similar. Uh, but again, we definitely want to engage Mogami because she's the more modern ship. So let's go ahead and go back to targeting Mogami with Alabama and fire the shells. Again, Radford, I don't want you to uh, get into trouble. So I'm going to have you go ahead and break. Um, fall back for now. I can't have the the Radford get into trouble by this Mogami and uh, Aoba, and you can see they are they are targeting it. It's just it's it's not worth the loss of the ship, and I need it for the the transports. So what we'll do is send Radford out there, kind of make way all the way back around. And now let's go back to Alabama and see what we're looking at as far as Alabama goes. Okay, let's go ahead and break Atlanta and uh, have you guys head over this direction and might as well like just let them do their thing Alabama how you looking have you been hit you have been hit you've got the bridge has received a little bit of damage but is repaired uh, a little bit of minor damage to uh, front gun but it'll be fixed in no time. We are at a 64% solution. So let's go ahead and switch to narrow firing. You can see Mogami immediately going for uh, crossing my T which is a very, very bad idea in a heavy cruiser. I just hope it's not launching torpedoes. I don't even know if it has torpedoes in this game. I would imagine it does. I think if we look here and look at uh, Mogami weapons, do you have torpedoes? Yes, you do. You have 12 torpedoes. And they have a range of 16,000 meters. So we do have to keep that in mind. Oh, big hit already. Alabama scoring a massive secondary explosion around the, uh, just under the front guns. That could have been a magazine detonation, but I imagine there would be a much bigger fireball. That was a, that was a massive hit though. Make no mistake. Mogami is in a bad state now. She's still maintaining 20, no, she's slowing. She's at 23 knots and slowing fast. We may have critically injured her right there. That was a big hit. Report. We've got minor damage to the Mogami. I thought that was a much bigger hit than minor. 
Uh, it's slowing down. It's down to 15 knots already and still slowing. She may be dead in the water. That was a big hit. I don't know how they get off saying that that was a freaking minor hit. Like, minor hits are what they're doing to us. Fires and not really able to do a whole lot. Come on, Alabama. Got another hit there. She's just down to about 12 knots now. She's maintaining 12 knots pretty well. We do have a little bit more uh, damage to the bridge. Or no, the director. That's even worse. All right. Now we don't need to go with spotting. Just go with regular fire. Fire at will. We have a pretty solid solution. We're getting pretty, pretty gnarly hits on them. Okay, let's go back to Radford. Now that the threat of them coming after Radford is gone, break and send Radford directly at this fleet. Uh, let's go ahead and have you guys target the Mogami as well and use HE. Fire. Same thing for you, Juno. Target. Mogami. HE. Fire. You can see she's got a significant fire on deck now. We're up to a 96% solution. We're going to be hitting at will, basically. She's down to 14 knots still. You can see the uh, shells coming in from... Now she, uh, she's slowing even more. She may be on her way out. Report. Heavy damage, moderate flooding on Mogami. She's still in the fight. Keep firing, fellas. How's Alabama's... Okay, we've got a fire on, on the deck. Nothing too serious, though. Uh, it's just minor damage overall. The bridge seems to be in better shape now. So we're good there. Uh, the director, though, is getting fixed. So that's good. We at least got the director being repaired. So we should be getting even better. Yeah, we're up to a 99% solution. Fluctuating a little bit. Kind of want to be here for the next salvo. Wait for it. Fire the guns. That's awesome, man. All right. She's she's down to, oh man, she's being just absolutely pummeled by the, the Atlanta classes. I mean, she's just, she's, she's not long for this world. She's just not. All right. She's also down to a 5% or a five knot, four knot. Like she's basically dead in the water. So we are going to go to manual firing. We're going to zoom in on the map. And place the shot at the bow. Uh, I lied. God darn it. AP. Fire at the center section. Right there. It gets dead in the water. It's not going anywhere. So we, we want to make sure that we hit that shot. Here they come. This should be incredibly accurate. There's the hit. That was a big hit. Right where we placed it, too. Some of the shots fell short. But, yeah, there's a secondary explosion. She's having a real bad day. A real bad day. All right, so uh, let's get a report. We've got critical and critical. She's going down. Let's go ahead and swap targets. Start targeting the AOBA. Fire. Not manually. Fire. All right. Um... A 
Atlanta and Juno. Oh man, we looked away just in time for it to explode. But uh, Atlanta and Juno, I need you guys to uh, break your orders and start making way down there. Alabama has tank, tanked all the damage. You can see we are very close to uh, Mogami here, but she's got to be sinking any time. Also, if we go back to these guys, let's change target to... this ship. I gotta believe that this ship is dead in the water, right? It's no longer firing its guns, is it? Pretty sure it's mission dead. Yeah, its guns aren't even tracking the closest target, which is... Yep, there it goes. Mogami's gone. Good to know. One heavy cruiser down, that was the most dangerous of the two. We are now heading straight into uh, the backside of these guys. Chasing them down as quickly as we can. Alabama is now targeting Aoba. Uh, let's go back, because we're firing narrow spreads. Let's go back to spotting, full salvos, fire. That way we can get a better solution until we get closer. Atlanta and Juno, how are you doing? All right, let's identify this target. This would be... Uh, MS, I believe. Yes, you can tell by the white canvas parts over the... Uh, you want to call it the holds, cargo holds. So this should be that. So that should give you guys a little bit of a heads up there. We want to go with, I don't know what would be better, HE or AP. How many shells of HE do you guys got? You got 22,000, you have no AP, so it's all HE. So yeah, fire HE, fire. All right, let's go back to Alabama. Okay, Radford, what is your position? You are cruising in as fast as possible. Right? Yeah, you're doing 37 knots. I gotta be careful though. Aoba's in full run mode. We're catching up to the oilers and the uh, transports now. You can see the destroyers right out in front of uh, Aoba. We don't actually have the destroyer spotted currently. So they actually maintained a little bit more of a formation this time, rather than breaking formation immediately. But uh, it's not going to matter. We're going to we're going to attack them with everything we have. We gotten any hits? Looks like we have hit it potentially. I don't know. Reports? Anything? 
definitely sunk this one. We do have minor damage uh, to Kamigawa. So they are closing. Radford is closing. Alabama's the one that can't keep up, but he's getting he doesn't really need to keep up. He just needs to go faster or get a you know stay in range. He's at 14,300 yards. He's got a 48% chance to hit, or a 48% solution anyway. You can see we haven't actually landed a hit yet. They're booking it. They're at 31 knots right now just trying to run. They're outrunning their, their uh, convoy right now. You see that was a very, very close hit. So I'm going to go ahead and start firing narrow spreads rather than full. How many shells we got? 504 rounds of AP. So yeah, we should be fine. You can see we've got us a pretty nice battle line coming in. Both flanks and right down the middle. This actually worked out great. We just need to try to catch them. It looks like we scored a hit. She's down to 30 knots. Is she going to slow? That's a pretty nasty hit. Yeah, she's slowing. We may have knocked out her propulsion. That's a death sentence. She's now going slower than the Alabama. And, you know, Alabama's doing 24 knots right now, even though we've got her cranked up to 27 knots. So she's actually going slower than Alabama right now. She's at 22 knots. So, uh... That's going to be a death sentence because we're just going to be closing a bit more accurate. Let's see what that looks like as far as the report goes. If we look at uh, Aoba, minor damage, minor flooding. So she's taking on water as well, which is going to slow her down even more. She's trying to speed back up. She's up to 23 knots. Alabama's at 24. Just goes to show you how long it takes to get, like, even ships that are moving much faster than us, like, they're not actually outrunning our battle line too much because it's, they're, we're moving in a straight line, they're coming in at an angle, so they've got a further distance to go to come at the same. So if we go to Atlanta, you guys are here. We're going to go ahead and give you more orders to go here so that you don't actually end up running out of orders. Uh, Radford, what is your orders currently? You're about to run out, so we want to keep you chasing. And I want I want to get Radford close enough to start shooting these guys, but I want to hold fire until we get close. Now, these guys do have some defense. Like, if you look at them, I believe, yeah, I think these are little guns on the front and then the rear. see a turret there potentially they're not big guns but I'm in a destroyer it doesn't have to be big guns and you can see this guy here is just about done look at the report we're at moderate damage but no flooding it's all HE coming from the Atlantas and Juno Atlanta and Juno Aoba's back up to 28 knots we slowed her down temporarily but that's that's about it let's go ahead and break that and have Alabama just make a direct course because these guys are not going to do much damage to Alabama and my secondaries can chew them up as well and we are faster than them we're doing 24 knots they're only capable of like 15 to 17 knots but our, our main target is to get rid of uh, Aoba if we can we'll, we'll let the little little ships deal with the transports. You can see Aoba's running for her life. 
She's done a pretty good job of extinguishing the, uh, or repairing whatever damage slowed her down. She's back up to 28 knots now. Which is not what I want to see because she's opening the distance again. the goods or are we waiting for them oh we're doing spotting fire that's why let's just go ahead and turn off spotting fire and just fire the guns uh might as well just go full ham fire at will we got to try to get some hits on this thing and we're taking too long you can see those were way off Missed behind and in front. All right, they're actually starting to turn. So I may go ahead and get ahead of this turn. And try to like go this direction. Because I I know last time they tried to go this way. They they want to go north. They want to get away from us. So if we can head them off, we could potentially close the distance even though we're slower than them. They're running out of run room to run. They can't run this way forever. No matter how fast they are. All right, let's go back to uh, Atlanta. You guys are targeting Kamagawa Maru. Uh, heavy damage, but no flooding because it's all HE damage. Okay, Radford, I'm gonna have you go ahead and start engaging because you're getting close enough. We'll have you start engaging. You're at 9,000 meters, or 9,000 yards. So we're gonna have you using AP. You don't have any AP, you only have HE. Very nice. I guess we'll have you doing HE as well. Uh, let's start with spotting fire. Right, keep an eye on the distance between Alabama and Ioba. You can see they're they're pretty clearly turning here. They're trying to turn north and get out of there. Uh, maybe we need to break that again. Go target a little further north, like this. But now we've got to be careful because we're actually causing Atlanta and Juno. To cross paths with Alabama. And that's something we don't really want either. So uh, let's go ahead and break your formation and just have you guys go right alongside these transports. The sooner we get these guys across, the less likely they are to run into Alabama. So that's the goal. And of course, Radford is coming up alongside these guys as well. All right. Are we able to fire the rear guns yet? Doesn't look like it. You can see if they're turning north, then we're going to be able to hopefully head them off. Uh, let's look at Kamagawa Maru here, who has just been absolutely shredded with AG. We look at Alabama, though. Atlanta, sorry. 
Yeah, you can see Kamagawa Maru, oh yeah, Kamagawa Maru capable of doing 14 knots right now. But it has extinguished all of its fires, which is real unfortunate. Wonder if it would help if we if we put up some star shells. Maybe fire some star shells real quick. Oh, I lied. This is Kama or this is Kamagawa Maru. And down goes Kamagawa Maru. Let's go ahead and target uh, this guy now and use some um, HE fire. Juno, you do the same. Target this guy. HE fire. Target this guy. HE and fire. And we will classify him as another. Yeah, see, this is the bug that drives me nuts. I have to actually switch off of this and then switch back. For this to take effect. There we go. How's Radford's looking? We're at a 99% solution. So let's go ahead, fire, narrow spreads, don't wait for spot, just unleash. Alabama, how you doing? You guys are getting awfully close to one another here. But yeah, they've they've fully made a retreat motion here. They're they're turning due north, trying to get away from us. Um, break that again. We want to come even target even further down. there we go it's unfortunate that they're all trying to run uh, as a matter of fact, we may just go ahead and break these guys off of their current orders and start pursuing because these guys can actually get closer. Let's have them target Aoba. Uh, fire. Uh, full spot. Fire. Same thing for Juno. Target Aoba. We want to slow her down. Radford can deal with all of these freaking uh, transports if we have to. Our goal now is to stop this retreat. <clears throat> back to uh, Atlanta. Let's uh, break that and go with something along this line. Uh, what about torpedoes? We have a 99% solution on Kamigawa Maru but we're, we're trying to target. I'm gonna drop all of the torpedoes. What is our um, 
torpedo range, 14,000 yards. Don't know if we'd be able to reach them at this range or not. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, fire the torpedoes at the Aoba. No valid solution to Aoba. Okay, so uh, yeah, I didn't think they would have the range. I was hoping they would, but. Um, let's go ahead and light up Aoba with some star shells as well. We can put some star shells above her, it should make her easier to hit. And that should also help uh, Alabama hit it. You can see some of them over there. Now we're up to a 99% solution. So we'll leave Atlanta firing HE now. Alabama, what's your solution? You're up to a 52% solution now. Bradford, how you doing? shells you got 554 HE shells on board your uh, ship is slowing down it's down to nine knots just creeping along It says we don't have any AP, unfortunately. It's just HE. Yeah, it's down to seven knots now. I have an 85 or 83 percent chance to hit, and we're coming alongside pretty quickly as well. Let's go ahead and slow down temporarily. That way we don't miss our opportunity. Uh, what's our damage looking like on these guys? Heavy damage, heavy damage, and moderate flooding, minor flooding. So uh, yeah, it's just a matter of time. Go ahead and target this one, Radford. Fire. And don't be spotting firing either. Just barely make the destroyers and the Mogami out, or the Aoba out over there. We know there's two destroyers and the Aoba over there. And we are on a uh, direct course towards them. Alabama, how's your uh, firing solution looking? It's getting worse. You're at 34%. 33%. Why? Target the Aoba. I don't know why that was unlocked. 
fire. Narrow salvos and AP fire. Okay, that was weird. Okay, Atlanta. Can you put some more star shells over top of them, please? Let's go ahead and change orders. Break formation. I need you to go up this way. Alabama. Break. Change orders. Up this way. Aoba, how fast are you currently going? You're going 27. Not really taking any hits, it doesn't look like. We do have some star shells being placed overhead, which is good. If we go back to Atlanta, we should be able to continue our HE shots. Fire. Juno should still be firing. Target Aoba. I don't know why. There we go. Yeah, we're up to a 72% uh, solution now inside 13,000 yards with the Alabama. Down goes, uh, let's go back over to our Radford. Make sure we're shooting at the next guy. Down goes the other one. Very, very nice. All right, so now it's time to uh, start going after these Oilers. Radford, I need you to turn up this way. Uh, speed, 37 knots initially. I'm going to classify this guy as an oiler because we already know it's an oiler if you look at it. You see there's no white canvases over a cargo hold. It's a tanker. So if we go up here, go to our oilers, we can classify it as an oiler. And we might as well just go ahead and do that on all of these. Because we know they're all the same. Okay. Now we're going to have him go ahead and start engaging. Uh, also, probably could slow him down a little bit. Go with a... Uh, these guys are doing 18 knots, so we'll, we'll do something like uh, 20 knots so that we're still closing, but we're not outrunning them. How you doing, Atlanta? You're not taking any hits, right? Yes, you have taken some hits. Got to be careful. We are dealing with a heavy cruiser. Atlanta's were never supposed to engage surface, or at least not, not other like heavy cruisers and stuff. That's not what they're built for. They're built as a destroyer lead. There's basically an overgrown destroyer. Just a really heavy gunboat. Alabama, how you looking? Still closing, down under 12,000 yards now. We're up to a 52% solution. Firing narrow spreads of AP, right? Just make sure. Aoba has been hit and is reduced down to 26 knots now, so that's good. Oh yeah, she's definitely been hit midship. Probably some HE, but maybe some uh, AP from us as well. Let's uh, look at the report. We have heavy damage and minor uh, flooding on Nippon Maru. One of the oilers that we're engaging already. The Aoba has received heavy damage, but no flooding. So she must have taken some shells from Alabama. All right, let's go back to Atlanta. 
and have it fire off a couple more volleys of uh, star shells. You wouldn't think you'd need them at this point because they're it's daytime, they're this close, like, but it's still technically morning. So we want to try to light them up a little bit better, get that extra accuracy if we can. All right, go ahead, break orders again. And I need you to once again, go a little further north. We've got to be careful. We are taking damage, but it's just minor at this point. And you can see uh, Aoba up there has just def definitely been having a bad time. Switching back to AP or AG. Alabama still not quite able to get her rear gun involved. Uh, let's go ahead and break. And have Alabama come this way. Uh, Mr. Radford, how are you doing? Damage. Heavy damage on Aoba still. We have heavy damage, minor flooding on Nippon Maru. Right now we're only able to fire the front guns at these guys. So we may want to go ahead and turn so we can, yeah, let's go ahead and break, turn with them. I gotta get used to using the keys. They've got hot keys for all of this stuff. Like their N is for navigation, so I need to I need to get better at that. That's something I need to do, but as I've said before, I'm a console gamer. This is all new to me. So kind of bear with me on this sort of thing. Not used to having like hot keys and stuff for things. But now we'll be able to get more guns to bear on these guys. Hopefully get rid of them a little quicker. Because at these ranges, like this is point blank, like we shouldn't be missing at all. Or very little at, at that. All right, let's go back up, look at Aoba, see how she's doing. Aoba is reduced, Never mind. I lied. Let's go uh, Alabama and then Aoba. Aoba's been reduced still down to 26 knots. She hasn't been hit again. Oh, I say that as she takes a hit in the funnel. That's going to slow her down, probably. Reduce her engine efficiency. You can see the, the Atlantas are just raining hellfire on this thing. Just absolutely setting it ablaze from, from stern to stem. Go ahead and have... Uh, we look, we're 11,500 yards closing. Because of our intercept course, we're actually closing on them even though they outpace us. Um, but if we go back to Atlanta, we could probably throw up some more star shells at this point. So uh, let's go ahead and have it switch over to star shells once again, fire. some star shells up over top of the target. You see star shells starting to pop up there. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you're not familiar with what a star shell is, it's literally a luminescent uh, shot that explodes and hangs in the air above wherever you need to light up. And it just helps light up the area, especially for like infrared, uh, you'll see them use. Um, this, I think, was before the use of infrared, but I could be wrong or right at the beginning of infrared. But I know infrared has a special shell that they use that isn't visible to the naked eye. Like if you look out at night, uh, they could pop one of these and you wouldn't be able to see. However, if somebody's using say night vision goggles or something along those lines, they actually can see much, much better in pitch black. I don't know a whole lot about that sort of stuff, but I do know a little bit. 
How's Juno doing? We haven't really checked in on Juno for a minute. You been taking any hits? Nah, you're fine. They've hit, they've hit uh, Atlanta, but Atlanta's hanging in there. She's taking some hits. She's taking some damage, but it's all minor damage, minor flooding. For the most part, she's doing pretty good. A little bit of flooding in the bow that we can hopefully fix and get pumped out. Down goes Nippon Harbor. So uh, we need to go back to Radford. Go ahead and target this ship and fire the guns. Uh, also, we need you to change course. What's your current speed? We're doing 20 knots, so let's bump that up to like 24 knots. All right, back over to Alabama. And back up to Aoba. Aoba's at 24 knots still. Uh, let's check out Atlanta. She looks to be having a bad time. How are you doing, Atlanta? Anything changed? Uh, you got a little bit of flooding in the stern. You're working on repairing the, the bow and, uh, or on the stern, in the side, underneath one of the wing curts, or just in front of the wing curts. We gotta be careful. We really gotta be careful here. Uh, I wonder if we have a torpedo potential. Atlanta's firing eight torpedoes with a zero degree spread. I goofed that. I didn't change this at all. Probably should have went with a four degree spread. There we go. Go ahead and uh, have Atlanta turn out, break, turn out. You're getting a little too close to the action there, Sunshine. Also, switch back to the HE, please, instead of the star, star shells. We only have 33 star shells left. Alabama, how you looking? Getting up to 78%. Uh, what are you firing? You're firing narrow spreads. AP, hopefully. Aoba's reduced to 23 knots now. Oh, big hit. That was definitely a hit from the Alabama. That was a massive hit. That's going to slow her down big time. You can see the shells coming in from the... Uh, the Atlantis continuing to just pummel the ever living crap out of her. You can see all the star shells above these guys. We have managed to uh, regain contact with the destroyers. I'm gonna have uh, Atlanta switch targets. Ooh, that was a secondary explosion or potentially a, a impact from Alabama. That was towards the rear of the ship, so that might damage the engine. Unfortunately. Let's go back over to uh, this destroyer. We're going to classify it. Ooh, that's a very early one, isn't it? Or is it? So we've got two classify as a destroyer oh god thought it was gonna thought it was gonna close for a second let's go back here um it's definitely not a momi uh minikaze maybe Could be Minikaze, except Minikaze has three sets of torpedo tubes. This one does not. The 
walkie-talkie, two sets of torpedo tubes, um, but the stacks are wrong, so it's not walkie-talkie. Kamikaze, three sets of tubes, so it's not that. Uh, Matsuki, uh, it's looking like it. I'd say this is a Matsuki. Let's go ahead and call this Matsuki. Ah, oh, crap. That's the wrong one. I just made Alabama targeted. Alabama, you go back to shooting this guy. Fire AP. Dang it. Atlanta. Target this guy. Juno. Target this guy. Uh, this guy is... Uh, this looks like Kagero class, potentially? I'm fairly confident that's a Kagero. We got twin turrets, and we have two quad launchers mid. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that's a Kagero. There we go. So we've got them uh, focusing it. Uh, also, Atlanta, break your orders and go for these freaking destroyers. Pursuit. Alabama. How you looking on that friggin' Aoba? I need you to knock him out. Aoba has been reduced to 17 knots, so we are catching it regardless of the angle now. We're just going to be able to catch up to it. So that solution is going to be improving as we get closer. Aoba has just been absolutely torched. She's on fire literally from the front to the rear. She's been hit multiple times by Alabama. Aoba's critical damage, heavy flooding, so she's not long for this world. How is Radford doing? That's a tanker that is in real bad straits. What do we got? Critical and critical on this guy, so he's probably dead. We can go ahead and switch to, uh, oh yeah, another secondary explosion on the front of it. So we're gonna go ahead and have Bradford switch. That was good timing, wasn't it? Man, I'm good at this. <laughs> when I don't screw up the recordings. All right, let's go ahead and fire HE. Uh, let's go ahead and go navigation mode up north thank you get all those guns involved Atlanta and Juno should be engaging the destroyer and Alabama is engaging Aoba Aoba's definitely having a bad time Why do I have a feeling these guys aren't targeting? Okay, there we go. I forgot to tell them to shoot. We, we changed their targeting. Forgot to tell them to shoot. So uh, go ahead and start firing at the Kagero. And then Atlanta. I know you had some flooding. What's going on there? Some flooding in a forward compartment. Structural integrity is okay. Got minor damage, minor flooding, nothing too crazy. Staying on top of it for the most part. That's good. How many shells you guys got left? 1,200 rounds. Alabama, what's your, your shells looking like? Why are you not firing? Did we not tell them to fire? God bless it. Fire the guns.
need a couple more hits to finish this guy off. It's a lot to ma it's a lot to micromanage, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and change Alabama's course. Uh, break your current course and pursue north. We're doing 23 knots. They're doing 16 knots, so should catch up. We're at 7,400 yards. All right, go ahead and break your orders. Navigation, go north. We are going as fast as we can go to 33 knots. Again, this is what the this is what the Atlantis were designed to do: is go after destroyers and and be able to uh, fulfill essentially the destroyer role. It's a light cruiser technically, but it is meant to be a destroyer lead. Supposed to be like uh, anti-submarine, which is why you see the depth charges. It's uh, anti anti destroyers. Like it, it's a fantastic platform. Problem is, it's very squishy. Which is why they have not had a good time. With you pack this many guns on the ship, you got to carry a lot of ammunition, and uh, when you don't have much of a ship to protect that ammunition, bad things can happen. All right, Alabama, how you looking? I know this ship, the Aoba, is in a rough way, man. It's listing hard to freaking. Eh, it's turning. It's turning out. That might be part of the list. All right, what are we looking like? Critical and critical on the Aoba. So yeah, she's slowing down. She's trying to, to not get hit right now, but she's not very long for this world. I'm hoping, yeah, she's down, Aoba's gone. All right. Oh, and a big secondary explosion at the back as well. Radford, how you looking, buddy? You've got him burning stem to stern. How's the Nippon Maru? We've got heavy damage, heavy flooding. We are actually ripping these people apart, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and speed up. Uh, This ship's not long for this world. Now look at those big secondary explosions. That's probably going to do it for this ship. Yeah, he's a critical, critical. You can go ahead and cease fire. And I need you to... Yep, there he goes. He's down. I need you to bootleg it straight up here, man. Get up here as quickly as you can. Uh, that's a terrible angle, though. Let's uh, break that and redo it, rethink that. Because they're going north, so we want to kind of go up this way. Um, Atlanta, can you go ahead and switch back? Actually, I lied. What are you... Not sure what's going on there. We've got a turret that's been knocked out potentially. Yeah, it's being repaired, but it has been has been knocked out. So we'll get it back soon. Uh, in the meantime, let's go to Juno. Have Juno start shooting some star shells, because you should still have. A, yeah, you've got 180. So I have you go ahead and switch to star shells. 
See if we can't get a, get these destroyers slowed down a little bit. They're currently doing 32 knots. We're currently doing 27 knots. Uh, let's go ahead and speed up time, see if we can catch up to them. We can't actually speed up time. That's less than ideal. Have they received any hits? Doesn't look like it. Okay, um... Go back to Atlanta. Firing HE, narrow spread, spot fire. I lied, don't go spot fire. We don't want spot fire. Up to a 55% solution on them, so that's good. Alright, let's uh, break current orders, navigation, come straight up this way. With Juno providing uh, fire, or the star shells, At Atlanta, or yeah, Atlanta should be able to absolutely dominate them, hopefully. That was very close to hit. Make sure we're getting the most out of it. I don't know why the, the directors sometimes just don't flat out work. You got you to manually click on them. So now we're up to a 91% solution. We can take this guy down that'll be pretty nice uh, I didn't end up sinking either of the destroyers in the last time we fought but uh, has been a nice episode it's been a good fight they've gotten some damage we've we've sank them ooh that was real close that was real close Kagero there's a hit now we're talking There's a lot to this game, and I really enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. This is not something that I've, I've thought about playing like previously, like anything like this, but this is, this is a lot of fun to try to manage all of the things that are going on. I'm not very good at it, but it is a lot of fun to play, and I hope you guys enjoy watching it because it's something that's uh, going to help branch out on the channel a little bit, especially if I can get better at it. Okay, Radford, we're going to have you go ahead and change course. Because they, they altered their course again, so we need you to come straight at us. Go ahead and target them. You're very low on ammo in the front guns. Got plenty in the rear. But yeah, your front guns are real low. But we're currently doing 30 knots, they're doing 30 knots, so we're catching them slowly. And Atlanta's not going to give up on them. A 
is a beautiful sight, isn't it? You can see the other destroyers not that far ahead either. If we can get it, get our uh, Radford crews in this direction, we may be able to catch them. And it looks like he's changing course too. I like the course that we're on because we're going to be opening up a little bit from them. That'll get us potentially more guns on the fight. But uh, how many guns or how much shells do we got? 750? Oh, we're fine. We're fine in the front. We're definitely going to have to rearm the entire fleet after this, this fight, though. Definitely been a fight. I don't know what happens if you leave. Like, this is the combat area, right? So if they leave the combat area, do they? Do I have to disengage? Or can I chase them down? Because I'm absolutely going to try to chase these guys. No. How you looking on star shells, buddy? You're out of star shells. Man, that doesn't take very long. See, there's a lot of star shells right above them right now. It should light them up, make them easier to hit, in theory. He's back up to doing 30 knots again. Come on, guys, we need some hits. Go with spotting fire. Maybe that'll help. Bradford, how you looking? We need you to go as fast as humanly possible. We're capable of 37 knots. We're currently doing 33 knots. I don't know why they tell you you're capable of doing a certain speed and then you never reach it. You never reach your top speed. All right, let's go ahead, break your current orders and go more directly at them. Maybe I can get Radford to put out some star shells. What do you think? Uh, star shells, fire. They're currently 24,000 yards. I don't think Radford has that kind of range, does he? Just a guess. Just a guess. Yeah, we got 17,000 yard range. So we've got quite a ways before we can catch up to him. Let's go back to Atlanta. Uh, let's change course. Navigate up this way. They just disappeared. Uh, can we speed up time now? Still cannot speed up time.
I'm assuming it's because he left the area. So I think we're just going to go ahead and retreat now. But uh, it was a heck of a fight, guys. We, we did everything we could. We didn't manage to sink him. We did do moderate damage to it, minor flooding on the uh, Kagero. Uh, Matsuki got away. But everything else went to the bottom. We sunk 71,320 tons of total shipping sunk. 63 new command points for this. And we basically suffered minor damage. Atlanta took a good beating from uh, the Aoba. But at the end of the day, we all get to go home and most of them don't. So it was a heck of a fight. We're going to go ahead and lay in a course for home to... Uh, let's try to uh, get here anyway. Let's go ahead and lay that course in. Uh, new Hebrides. Still don't have any new engineering or fuel, so we're still waiting for that before we can transport more up to uh, Santa Cruz Islands here. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm glad I was able to record that uh, for you guys to see because that's kind of what we were dealing with last mat or the last episode that got deleted. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.